Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Actually today I'll show you the process of preset making and how to add in your camera filter. You know camera filter is a plugin of the Photoshop and those who are using the Creative Cloud version they are getting these plugins automatically or those who are using the CS version they can install it manually in their Photoshop. So let's see the before one was like that i got this image from the website and i'll give you that stock image download link in my video description so check it out and then after using the preset i got this one and i added a color lookup and then this one the light so what type of color lookup i here used the futuristic please and the blending mode i made it soft light and then this one the extra light which the make another dimension and then i just got this one so after using this uh, you can use the another plugins that is the nick collection so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and open up here the image this one and I'll give you that download link in my video description so at first uh, i want to say this picture is too much uh, like uh, saturated so if you make it more artistic you should make it the faded or like uh, artistic look which piece that i made uh, this piece is perfect for the artistic look so i will apply that piece in this photo so press ctrl j the another copy of this layer this one is the backup layer so go to the filter and the camera filter earlier i said that camera filter is a plugins and this one is a similar to the lightroom and here is a preset option or load settings option here and i made the faded this one and open up you got a nice look in this image that let's analyze the things here the actually the color i just make the hue like this one the red hue and the orange hue the green hue the saturation green yellow aqua and blue i just made like that and the luminance as well the green luminance i just made it down and the yellow make it up, it up and like that the red and orange as well so then the camera calibration the green primary green primary red and primary blue just primary red if i just consider plus 25 and here 12 and primary green plus 68 and minus 78 here the blue primary color i got this one plus 48 and the saturation 6 minus 6 so here i didn't use any vignetting and split toning i used a little bit of split toning that is the value is 116 the saturation 5 and balance 0 just because of uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't balance if i make it plus or minus in this case only so here the hue 200 and the saturation plus 9 so color i just shown you here the amount of sharpening that is the detail options plus 33 and the radius like that 1.0 and detail 25 and luminance is that is the noise reduction if in a picture the, the noise appeared if i give this type of value it will gone and here luminance detail 50 that's good here i blue curve i use like that and the green curve no green curve i used the red curve like that so here i add just something the highlight i made it a little bit down the saturation contrast that is plus nine and the shadow plus three whitens plus 15 and the black minus 19 and here i de-highlighted or de-vibrance or the minus value of the vibrance that is the minus eight so that's all in this like piece it and hit the ok button so you're getting ultimate artistic look of this photo the before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so after that go to the adjustment layer and color lookup from here i got a futuristic blaze this one but i will make it the soft light so and i'll reduce the opacity 
or feel like that 18 percent or 17 percent plus 17 17 percent is perfect for this okay then take a new blank layer and make it like uh, the white color yeah and then go to the brush brush tool and make the opacity and flow 100 percent the brush size will be around 400 pixel that's good and hardness zero percent and first one brush and select once and press ctrl t i'll make it bigger more bigger so like this yeah i'll set it up in this portion and if i zoom it in here at the color of the lips and just gone so i want to make it more so take a new blank layer and then go to the brush tool and select a color which is according to the lips and make it like that and hit ok and then reduce the brush size and make it like that and opacity 50 or flow 50 ok then brush in a lips so make it more precisely and it will be more amazing Okay, I should make it 100% otherwise it won't work properly so that's fine or you can take this one like yeah that's good and make it smaller and according to the lips actually so brush carefully when you're brushing in the lips so you can make it zoom and you can make the brush size smaller or bigger by pressing third bracket opening and closing so this area this area and this area as well so here so when you are brushing this one be careful about the area and the brush portion so yeah be careful when you are brushing this yeah that's fine and now just go to the blending mode and make it soft light yeah if you need you can change the opacity or flow okay the before one was like that and after one you are getting like that now turn on the lights yeah that's good and select all the things make it group and make it merge now you can go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop and if you want to get this download link please check out my video description i'll give the nick collection or google nick collection or color effects pro setup link in my video description so you can download this one and you can set it up in your pc from here lots of filter over here and i'm using the cross processing this one and lots of methods over here you can use one of them so if you need you can use that so i'll use this one or you can use this this one is not faded yeah that's fine and i'll make the strength like 11 percent and hit ok it will take time to load it up and it depends on your pc configuration and after loading it up it will give you the final output here so yeah it's loaded if you need you can change the opacity flow and other stuffs so now go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient make the gradient angle zero degree and take the gradient like this and the linear is good and dither and make it 300 so just place this one in this portion so it will make that the light is coming from the right side and this portion is show so that's why i just use this one a little bit of subtle so it will make the dimension in your photography so let's see the b for one b for one was like that over saturated <laughs> not the over saturated but high saturation and high contrast actually and then after using the preset you are getting the faded artistic look and then using this and after using the uh, lights or other stuffs it just got a new look of the dimension so the b for one and after one you're getting the ultimate faded look in your photography so you can edit your photography like that if you want and hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you need the preset you need the 
plugins or other stuffs the stock image please check out my video description thank you so much thanks for watching my video did well if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say if signing out today be back with a new amazing tutorials and don't forget to comment on my video comment section what kind of video you want in a next episode so thank you so much thanks for watching and until the next video i may say signing out today bye bye